Magnesium is a fantastic supplement to take and literally tens of millions of people are taking it all over the world every single day. So many of us have low magnesium and we need to take it. We would benefit greatly from taking it. But unfortunately, there is a, a huge problem with magnesium that a lot of people who take it notice and they probably even stop taking it is that the vast majority of magnesium supplements on the market cause diarrhea and they cause loose stool, which is unhealthy, it's very annoying, and it also means that you don't get the magnesium that you wanted. It doesn't absorb as well. And virtually all magnesium, like I just said, causes diarrhea to varying extents, but there is one kind that actually doesn't, and it's a huge surprise, and it's why that we decided to release this certain type of magnesium that we did, and you may have heard of it, you may think you already know about this, is that it's magnesium glycinate, which I should say magnesium glycinate and magnesium bisglycinate are exactly the same thing. But here's the key. It has to be non-buffered and almost nobody even knows what that means. And most of the magnesium glycinate and bisglycinate on the market is buffered. So for anybody who is looking to not watch the whole video and just skip to the end, just very quickly, I'll say this is our non-buffered magnesium bisglycinate from 88 herbs we'll put a link there and i'm going to put a link in the description as well to another video on this magnesium which is also interesting so that's basically the answer to it all but now i really want to get into what that means why ours is non-buffered and why most of them aren't what non-buffered means and why it is so important most people who know anything about magnesium supplements and have, especially who have the problem with diarrhea is they know the type you don't want to get if that's the issue is magnesium oxide. Now here is the unbelievable thing with magnesium glycinate and what buffered is. Buffered means that it's mixed with oxide. So the vast majority of magnesium glycinate or bisglycinate that you're buying is actually a combination of magnesium glycinate and magnesium oxide mixed together. Even if they don't say buffered or non-buffered, it doesn't matter, it's probably a mix. They have to go out of their way to say non-buffered like we do, most of them don't, but even if they say it's non-buffered, it still might be buffered. So it's literally a mix of magnesium glycinate and magnesium oxide. So a lot of customers who call us, we've sold literally hundreds of thousands of bottles. And when they call us, they say, well, I've tried glycinate before and my stomach's very sensitive and I still have a problem with it. And that's when we start to explain, well, it's buffered. It's definitely buffered. And then I say, go to your cabinet, read me the bottle, read me the weights of everything and we figure out it's buffered, and then they try ours, and they don't have any problem with it. So it's not the glycinate that's causing them a problem, it's the oxide that's mixed in, and they had no idea. Okay, so why does magnesium generally cause diarrhea in the first place? And what the reality is, is you can't get a pure magnesium supplement because that's a metal, it has to be in some form like a glycinate or a buffered glycinate or oxide or citrate, and it's the form that the magnesium is in that causes the problem. So most forms, what they do is they actually draw water into the colon when you take it, and then that water and the magnesium is expelled, and of course that is the diarrhea, and that causes two problems, and it's the diarrhea itself Plus, that basically guarantees that you're not even getting the magnesium that you wanted to get because you're losing it at the same time. So you need to have it absorb well. So if it absorbs well, you're actually getting the magnesium. And as kind of a side benefit, it's not 
causing the diarrhea. So it's the diarrhea plus the absorption that is the key. So like I mentioned a little bit before is most magnesium bisglycinate is actually mixed with oxide. How could this possibly happen? And what I can say is most companies, honestly, they don't even know that that is what's going on. So the way that it works with health supplements is there's a supplement company who buys a supplement in bulk from some type of ingredient supplier. And when you go to buy it from an ingredient supplier and then supply it, most of what's offered is not even mentioned whether it's buffered or not. They just buy it from a magnesium glycinate supplier and they get it at a decent price and then they they say oh I want high quality and they put it in the bottle and that's it and they sort of bypass they do this with most supplements they bypass some of the the key points they just say well as long as it's glycinate and they say it's a good one then we'll buy it and we'll use it for our company they don't really get into the research of every little detail and in this case this is an absolutely huge detail so if you call up customer service and you say well is this one buffered or not what is it what does buffered mean and how would I know honestly most of the time they won't give you a clear answer and they may say that theirs is or isn't buffered but they won't they probably won't even know what it is and I know not because I'm calling them but we have customers calling us all the time and saying that this is what happens and they arrive on okay I'm going to try your product and they love it it happens so many times that's why we had to make a video about it so I made a clear video about this which again we'll put the link and it's really useful to check out that video because this part coming up will be in more detail but basically what we're dealing with is why again another reason why they would even think to mix it with oxide is because elemental magnesium is generally speaking that's that's true magnesium the part that's non-elemental is the part that's not the element so magnesium oxide is magnesium and oxygen and the oxygen weighs a certain percentage of the molecule and the rest of it is magnesium and the magnesium weighs the rest and whatever that percent is that's the percent of elemental magnesium now if you look at a higher quality generally speaking magnesium glycinate product the glycine is actually quite a bit larger physically than oxygen so the elemental magnesium is lower in pure non-buffered magnesium glycinate but the problem is oxide only absorbs at four percent so it's not only the whether it's or how much elemental it is it's the absorption as well so they they hope to get the best of both worlds by mixing magnesium oxide which has a high elemental magnesium with magnesium glycinate which absorbs better hoping that you'd get high elemental and not cause any issues but the problem is so many people are still finding that they are having diarrhea we're getting calls literally hundreds a week of people who find us by doing a pretty big search online and saying okay I ha or getting a recommendation for their doc from their doctor or nurse saying I have to try this type which absorbs so much better and actually doesn't cause the problems so basically a long story short is if you want to try a high quality high absorption magnesium that is not going to cause you any diarrhea or loose stool at all and you want all the benefits of magnesium while feeling great you should be like a lot of hundreds of thousands of customers all over the world and try our 88 herbs non-buffered magnesium glycinate I think you will absolutely love it and at 88 herbs we put this type of effort and detail into our sourcing of every single ingredient in every product so take a look at the rest of our website and consider some of our other supplements if you love this one because they are all unique and fantastic products thank you